hi guys happy vlogtober i forgot all about it yesterday because i ended up having to work um sorry about that we're starting a day late it's october 2nd so what i my mornings consisted of it's 12 20 i'm still kind of sick waiting for my covid test results to come back um but anyway i'm currently on a zoom call right now like it's on mute so she can't hear me <laughs> and i can't hear her right now because obviously i'm talking to you guys but i just got done paying two bills um one came in the mail today one came in the mail yesterday <clears throat> one was for my doctor's visit like almost a month ago and they wouldn't take my money because i guess all this covid stuff and whatever and then one was my life insurance so have to pay that every three months so those bills are paid and then i forgot i had some stuff sitting in the printer so i'm going to pull all this away um it's just proof i paid my bills online basically so yeah my husband's out getting some lunch and then i'm gonna i don't know if i want to how do you wait till he gets back with lunch, eat, get dressed, <clears throat> and then talk about our flash sale we have going on today. Our Adrew Rewind Nectar and our Rejuvenize Oil is like only $99, which means this is like 60% off itself. So, it's crazy. So, I need to promote that. Like, actually talk like I am with you guys. And then I still got to do an unboxing of my wellness pack. I have to, uh, I already edited, edited Saturday's main channel video. And it's already saved to my computer, so I need to just upload that and edit the thumbnail. Which is just going to be a Dollar Tree haul. Um, then I need to go take some Instagram pictures because I am out, like, that's why my last picture was a picture of my computer. So, you guys are just... I'm starting off October. Sick. Nothing new about that. <laughs> so, I'm going to put all these papers away. And then I'll just talk to you guys in a bit. Okay, I know you can't really see me. Um, I'm in my car. And... I'm heading, well, follow my husband to go drop off his truck at his mom's. And I just got done uh, writing the October schedule down on our calendar in the living room. <clears throat> and got rid of some papers that was on the little stand thingy. So, we're heading over there. And then we're going to get lunch because apparently all the places were busy when he went through. So, I'll talk to you guys in a minute. It's 41. So, since you last talked to me, it was 4.47. It's now 4.47. Since you last talked to me, we got McDonald's. And then we sat in the car I, uh, in town and watched the homecoming parade. Came home. And I did a, uh, I posted on socials. About the flash show going on, and then I went live on me unboxing my all. I wanted all package, took one of the probiotics in the pack, and then I started. I um, mixed up one of the energy thingies. Turns out, as I was doing that, I got a message from my administrator at work because I got tested for COVID like three days ago. Turns out I tested positive, so now. I have COVID. 
beat myself up over it, but, you know, that's what happens when you work in a nursing home that has the COVID, and then I was exposed, like I said, three weeks ago. So now our trip to Indy is up in the air, which I'm beating myself up because I've been looking forward to this trip all year. I haven't took vacation days all year because of this trip, and I don't know if we can go or not. So... I've had the same symptoms for a week, so basically I just gotta wait till Monday until the health department calls me to figure out what's going on, because my quarantine from being exposed expired yesterday, October 1st, and I started showing the symptoms last Friday, so a week from now, whatever day that was, I can't remember, so I'll put it right here, but... Anyway, I'm going to go outside, upload my main channel video, and edit the thumbnail, and drink my drink. So, let's go set up outside for a minute. Right now, I'm going to warm up the rest of my nuggets because I already ate them earlier. There's like nine left out of this 20 pack. Scheduled for upload. Um, <sighs> thumbnail is edited <laughs> and it's up. So now I'm gonna eat and then watch some YouTube on the big screen. I'm drinking my tea. So I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Getting YouTube pulled up on the TV, got the diffuser going to maybe help me feel a little bit better. Got my nugs, got my tea, and now we're just gonna pull up some YouTube. Oh, and I also got my fuzzy blanket. I'm not using this side because this side's warmer, but actually this side's warmer, so I'm going to flip it over. Um, I want to say this is from hmm, Walmart, maybe, I don't know, it's like this really pretty mint blue, yes, I'm watching. So... We're going to pull up Tara Michelle because I am now behind two videos on her. So we're going to watch her. Okay, it's 6 03. I was actually like two and a half episodes, well, videos behind. So I got like one more to go. But my nuggets are done. Um. So now what I'm going to do is take my other medicine, because I didn't want to take it because it's um, mint flavor, and I didn't want my chicken nuggets sticks in like mint, 
and cough syrup. So, yes, I know they have medicine for COVID people, but um, we called the doctor's office and they basically said to keep doing what I'm doing, taking sinus medicine. So I've been taking, I'll just shake while I'm taking. Want to talk some meds. Okay, so this is Zyrtec that was subscribed well, prescribed to me last year. Um, it's just Zyrtec. I was taking that every night and then I stopped because I switched over. Like I was doing the Zyrtec and the, this Robitussin, and then I switched over from the Zyrtec to off brand of the Sudafed. From Dollar Tree. Um, just nasal decongestant. Like, I already took one pack. Like, one thing. To this Robitussin, which is just cough and throat, sore throat for severe maximum strength and mint. And then today, when I took a while ago, when I was talking to you guys, was some Tylenol my mom gave me. And I'm going to take this with that. And then I've tried this. Excuse me. I'm, um, my husband has also tried it. And we both, in fact, made us feel like it made our symptoms worse. So, I don't know. I might give it a try again. Not today, but. Um, this is just the Alka-Seltzer Plus Severe Sinus. Maximum strength, they're like liquid gels. They made my symptoms and his symptoms worse when he took it a while back. Um, but this is for sinus congestion and pressure, runny nose, sneezing, which I got the runny nose, sneezing, issue water, eyes, headache, pain, and cough. So I only got three of the symptoms that are on this. That's why I decided to take it, but it made it worse. Um, I really don't have, like, I have a slight cough, but it's not bad. Um, I only have sore throats in the mornings. That's mainly because I sleep with, like, four fans facing me. <sighs> I just got my nose. So, anyway, we're going to take some of this. I don't really know how much I take. I just... Take a spoon, fill it up, and take it. Because it says for adults and children 12 years and over, 20 ml every four hours. So I, these were every four hours. So I had all this this morning. And then I just took these. Just one. I took this about a minute. Was it 30 minutes ago? And this one. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to update you guys <laughs> what medicine I'm taking. But I just want to point out I'm not to tell you guys this information. Oh, I got COVID. Make you guys feel bad for me. I just want to point that out. That's not how it is. Ooh, at all so I'm gonna go in there finish that episode right now I got cold chills um, go finish I don't know why I keep saying episode that's video like just sip on my tea and then once that episode's over oh my gosh that video is over I'm gonna come in here and make some tea because I just took the last bit and I already know I'm not going to have nothing for tonight, so that's going to suck. But, well, um, I know a lot of people's probably going to also say, oh, you should be quarantining yourself in just one room, um, like staying away from your husband and stuff. Thing is, I've had these the same symptoms for a week, like I mentioned earlier. So there's literally no, like, 
I'm not even gonna get into it, <laughs> but um, we've been doing everything basically the health department has told me to do since I was under quarantine the first time. So, just this time on the positive and not just exposed. <sighs> so, yeah. That's it though. So, I'm gonna go back and watch the rest of the show. Oh my god, you guys. It's now 10.13. I think last I showed you was us having Colton's. There's two bags right here. I was freaking freaking out. Because I, I'm just sitting here on the couch. You know, by myself. At home. Ignore the mess behind me. And... Like, I heard a vehicle outside. There's a lot of people that have pretty loud cars around where I live. So, you know, I didn't really think of nothing. I was like, oh. it sounds like they're just sitting outside. Like, what the heck? I'm going to look outside. I freaking cracked the door open. Like, you know, I can't look. Because the way our uh, windows are has, like, it's like frosted and you can't really see out or in. And um, sorry, I'm getting my medicine ready. I was just taking an hour ago. And so there's two cars out there. I'm like, um, okay. I was freaking out. So I hurried up and locked the door back and then locked the back door. And then I went into uh, our bedroom and I was like, well, I'm just gonna, there's, you know, that chest thingy in front of the window. And since we're doing laundry, the basket wasn't there, so I just sat on that. And I looked, and I could kind of hear what they were talking about. Um, because we had that AC unit in the window. And uh, basically, I guess something was wrong with the guy's car, and him and his buddy were trying to figure it out. And he's like, well... Why don't we just go somewhere where there's more light? Because it's dark. I'm like, well, yeah, it's dark. Because all there is is dang street lights. It's 10 o'clock at night. And so, he's out there just, like, rubbing my engine. I'm like, can you please leave? <laughs> so, after they left is when I started vlogging. But it was really freaky. I got tea in this, so. Yeah, it was really weird. I'm like... Um, but I guess I can update you guys on how I feel. I feel fly, fly. Anyway, I feel like I feel fine. My nose is still kind of, feels like it's congested, but I can breathe out of it. So that's a plus, I guess. Um, we've had the diffuser going with peppermint. Couldn't really smell it because I was, I'm so congested congested wow i can't even talk um so for dinner as you guys seen i had one piece of catfish because i've been craving it it wasn't even all that good um half a bacon cheeseburger because that thing was so massive and then only two of those mozzarella sticks because they were the texas sized so i saved those for tomorrow oh and then i had two rolls I still have one left, but I'm probably not going to eat it. But, there's that. And then, obviously, this tea I'm still working on. Haven't made tea yet. Which, that's why I'm in the kitchen. Um, that and to take my medicine. I'm just tired. That's really how I feel right now. I was just tired. That part of me wants to go ahead and start editing Sunday's vlog. I mean, this vlog. Wow. Sunday's. Oh my gosh. 
Tuesday's video, but in the same token, I kind of want to go ahead and quit vlogging for today, edit it, and upload it, schedule for upload. I don't know what I want to do yet. I don't know. And I want a vanilla milkshake. I <laughs> really have. So. They don't really taste minty. Anyway, I'm sure you guys are tired of listening about my COVID. medicine everywhere and my mom and my grandma is so generous like I told you guys my mom gave me this my mother-in-law is the one that picked up our uh, drinks and Colton's she just dropped it off um, I'm walk over there. Yes. Mind you, I didn't ask for nothing really. Um, she was offering me this medicine, so we obviously took it. She gave us two rolls of paper towels so we can clean the house, um, which we do anyway because I've been working COVID hall. Um, my mom also gave me some great value disinfectant spray. Kleenexes. We literally just bought two boxes a couple weeks ago before I got quarantined and stuff. But we should give us a box of Kleenexes. Um, some vitamin C to take. What else is in here? I wasn't even paying attention. First aid. Some alcohol. Don't really know what that's for. What else we got? Some advanced hand sanitizer, which we already got a lot of hand sanitizer. And two more paper towels. So we got four rolls of toilet toilet paper, well, paper towels. And that's all from my mom. And then my grandma gave me some Equate severe cold and flu day and night medicine. So. I know my grandma doesn't watch my channel, but my mom does, so thank you. My husband's mom doesn't watch my channel either, but thank you to you for going to get our food. So, yeah, I think that's about it, really. <laughs> that cleaned up some space. I'm pretty sure that was it. This is another medicine we have too. Just some allergy relief just to eat great. So yeah. <laughs> Don't really have anything else to say. Oh, this is a fresh one. But uh while we ate we did watch Hocus Pocus. No, it's good. Never since at first, my husband was kind of upset because he were he we we are both worried that we're not gonna be able to go on our trip now, which sucks. Anyway, um, he's asked me four different times how I'm feeling, and I don't know. It's just really sweet. And then my mom keeps asking. The only ones that really know is a couple people at work, my husband, his mom, and dad, um, my mom, dad, and my grandma, and all my followers on TikTok, and some of the girls on, on my team. So, 
It's gonna be crazy. Ten days. Nine more days to go. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm, I can. Uh, I, don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So I feel like I want to say something else, but I can't. So, I know I'm supposed to be quarantined, whatever, but you can still leave the house, like, like not around people. So, tomorrow, I'm going to try to go take some photos. Obviously, away from people. I wouldn't want to put people at risk for that, obviously. Um... This is all how I contracted it before anybody asked is I decided one day for lunch, my friend at the time, she, we didn't know she had it. Um, it was literally the day before she got text, tested because she wasn't feeling good. Um, but that day we decided to go outside to eat lunch at work because it was nice outside. I was hot from being inside all day. And we just needed to be outside. Even though it was night, <laughs> it was dark. But we were sitting maybe four feet apart at the picnic table at work, eating our lunch, no mask on for at least 20, 25 minutes. So it's my fault for <sighs> sitting outside no mask on with someone that was sick and I knew she was sick we just thought they were sinus infection allergies because that's what it honestly feels like it's just really bad sinus infection so anyway enough about COVID I'm not going to talk about it I just want to get that out of the way on how I think I was potentially exposed because they say symptoms do take from the time you were exposed up to 14 days like I said, I was exposed the 17th. Didn't start showing symptoms till last week. So hold on, I'll count that many days real quick. Okay, so basically eight days after that I was exposed, I started with the stuffy nose. The very first day when I started getting the symptoms, my whole body was aching. Um, I just thought that was from overworking because I was working a lot of hours to catch up because of low, um, low staffing. So I was catching up, like, the day after I was exposed, I couldn't go into work, and that day after I worked 16 hours, and then was working 12s, 13s. You know, I just thought my body was aching because of that and the weather. Because it can't make up its mind if it wants to be cold or freaking hot outside. So I just lost it from that. And like that night, I remember, because I went to bed either a little bit before or at 10 o'clock. And that's not like me. I usually go to bed after 12. Like between 12 and 3 o'clock in the morning is my bedtime. <laughs> um, so. Yeah. So, that's how I'm feeling. I just want you to guys know I am positive. So what a way to start off October a day late and positive, like, who am I? <laughs> Not to mention this month is our one year anniversary of being married. So yeah. Um, this whole first year has been crazy. Um, I don't know. I don't really know how to go into it, <laughs> but it's all good, so. Um, so yeah, I think I'm done rambling. I hope you guys enjoyed the first day of Vlogtober. Sorry, Vlogtober is probably not going to be the best this year. I did. But we will do what we can. Just say no. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you go follow my Instagram. It's going to be right here. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. 
and my main channel. And I hope you guys enjoy. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.